Hey everyone, every pony person out there on YouTube. Today I'm going to be opening up some of these My Little Pony trading card games. And the these are the Marks in Time cards. This is actually from the collectible card game. It's not the trading card game, collectible card game. Even though they're kind of like a trading card, it's kind of the same thing. So I have two of these packs here. And I do have one of these packs here. And to consider this the pack drafter it's supposed to have four booster packs supposed to have two marks in time and two from equestrian odysseys and or high magic it says and there's supposed to be two foil cards or special foil cards i don't know if you can only get them inside of this pack or not but i was very excited first i was going to pick up four of these and i was like okay you know they're three dollars and 99 cents each which I think they've gone up in price. I don't remember them being that high. And then this pack here was only $10.99. And I got them at Target in the trading card section over by the registers. And I was like, okay, for $10.99, you get four packs. This is a better deal, even though it's only got two of the marks in time, but that make your mark. Why am I calling it marks in time? Oh, it is. It says marks in time. But this is make your mark. Maybe that's what the kind of drifter pack it's called all right so this is what the back of the box looks like and then the front of the box i love this here it's pretty awesome but we're gonna open this up and i have not found this at walmart you know i have not seen any pony cards at walmart and toys r us in like oh gosh like a year now it's crazy um but yeah so let's see what cards we get in here Oh, it comes in like a little oh this is neat it's in like a little plasticky thing that's cool I guess it protects it so oh that's cool so in this one we get a boosted card and it is Scootaloo just a boosted player card just like that and then we have Kevin Kevin's trying to fit in and that's another hollow foil card so those are the two special cards and then like I said we have two of the marks in time and it's in there somewhere and I ended up getting two of the high magics okay so two of the high magics which were the ones that came out before marks in time I think these are the ones but we're just gonna open these and see what we get now yet I still have not played the collectible card game I just honestly really like collecting these cards um, that's just a big thing of mine in the hopes of getting shiny cards so yeah okay so let's do the best I can with showing these to you okay these are pretty cool I love the pictures to them ah, that's cool I don't know these are all common so far I don't know which ones the rare cards or not um I can't really see in my screen Um, this might be the rare card. Nope, that's a common card. This might be the rare card. Alright, so that's a rare card. It's got like a rainbow on the bottom. That's kind of cool. So that one's our rare card. Then these are the uncommon cards. Oh, and then we have this one here. Is it upside down? No, it's not. Oh my gosh, I always think I hold these upside down for some reason. Alright, so let's open up our second pack of High Magic. <laughs> I'm so bad at opening these. Yes, I am. I know I am. Okay, so the first one we get is Starlight Glimmer, the Troublemaker card. <laughs> and these are just, that's a common card. So. Da -da -da. Oh, another one of these ones. Oh, this one's pretty. I like this one. That one is a rarity, but this is a rainbow powered rarity. That's really pretty. Let's see, that one's a common. It's a common. Is this our rare one? This is our rare card, and it's hearts strong as horses. So that's a rare card. So far, no shiny cards in here, which is kind of sad. <gasps> Derby! <laughs> Mega Mare, watch your step. 
they didn't even write Derpy on there. That's, that's a first. They still don't name her Derpy, but all right. So now we're going to open up some of the new Marks in Time packs. I have never opened these before. I have never found these. I don't know when they came out. I think they came out a while ago. I'm pretty sure I haven't opened these. I really don't think I have because I don't remember seeing these anywhere. Okay, so, so far, ooh. So far the top card looks different. It looks like they did the, um, like, little play cards that you, the, the, I don't just want to call them cards a little bit different so you don't have to hold them this way. It looks like they're trying to do that better. <gasps> is this a Philly? It is! It's a Philly Rainbow Dash. That's so cute. I love it. Oh, these are cool. Okay, and then the symbol on the bottom is just an X to show that that's from that pack. Gummy! I love gummy! <laughs> so cool! I love these cards. Like I said, even though you don't play them, they're still fun to collect. Assuming, is this really my rare card? It is. Holder's Boulder. That is my rare card. That is a weird rare card. Very weird. Oh, this is different. This is Unplanned Guest. This is a weird card. When this card enters play, each player retires a friend. Oh, that's a weird card. Still really cool, though. <gasps> Discord! Ooh, this is a troublemaker one, but this is like King Discord. Look at him. Look at his awesomeness. <laughs> Alright, let's open up the next pack. Really not a single shiny card. I like shiny cards because they're just so pretty. I can't help myself the prettiness of this. <gasps> Woo! Pinkie Pie! <laughs> Pinkie Pie! This is so cool. <gasps> and Philly flutters shy. Oh. Oh, is this Nightmare Night? No, this is a uh, event. Bookish backup. I don't remember this one. Sadly, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like they're doing these cards this way now, which is a lot better. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Oh my gosh, it's Tang. It's called Best Tortoise. And look, look, look at his slippers. He's got Rainbow Dash slippers on. That is so cute. Oh, oh, we get, we finally got a hollow foil card. It is a super rare apple bloom. Yay! We finally got one. That is awesome. Um, wait, was a tank? Tank was just a... Alright, so this is the actual rare card. Tank was a common card. Um, this one's a rare card. So it's really cool. This is... Oh, this one's kind of cool though. This one isn't... These are uncommon cards, the next ones. Oh, that's awesome! I got one super... Super rare. Not ultra rare, but super rare. Alright, so now these ones here, they just come into like these little weird card packs like these. I kind of feel like, in my opinion, they're useless, but you know. I guess they just make them look nice when you go to buy them in the store. Something like that. <laughs> Alright, let's hope we get another one of these awesomenesses. <laughs> King Sombra. Oh, I know now. They have the pets in this one. It's really cool. Cadence. <laughs> Can't see who's on this one. Oh, wait, this one's Diamond Tiara. Okay, and Silver Spoon. These are all commons. What is that? The Smooze. <laughs> this one's the rare card. It is just Lyra. It says Candy Fiend. I don't know. Then these here are just going to be the uncommon cards. Okay, so we have one one more pack. One more pack to open and hope that we get another super rare or something close to that. Um, but so far I haven't really seen any doubles, just a few, which is really good. Um, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so last pack, last pack. Oh, see, that was like that, but it stuff was like this. That's really weird. I think it's just easier to play in the game. I don't know. Oh, no, but they did this one like this. Now I'm really confused. 
Philly Dash. <laughs> All right, so we've gotten this one already. Uh, I believe we got this one. We just, I did say gummy. Yeah, we got that one already. Uh, we did get, I think we got that one. Th Ooh, yay, yay. Okay, we know that this one's an ultra rare. This is not a super rare. This is an ultra rare. Ah, it's an ultra rare. So this one is going to be Moon Dancer. It is a, a unicorn fowl. She is a ultra rare. It's just right down there. That's pretty awesome. Okay. And then this one, I believe, is my rare card, which it is. It's Thunderlane, Unsung Hero. Oh, and then another one of these ones that turns sideways. Another one of these ones that turns sideways. And then the Babs. The, the Babs. Babs seed. So that is pretty cool. Okay, I really do enjoy opening up these cards. So out of the four packs for the new series, the Marks in Time, I did get two of the foil cards and it was a super rare and an ultra rare. And that's actually really good because I don't think they have, do they have it on here? Sometimes they tell you foil cards appear one out of three packs on average. Okay, so I got four of those. I got two. Okay, so that makes sense. Yes, it does work. And then the other ones, um, I think they just, they say the same thing. Yeah, one in three packs, but you know, it's okay. I don't mind. So I hope you enjoyed me opening up these new My Little Pony collectible card game cards. And if you do play, let me know down below. How do you like it? Do you really enjoy it? Do you play with friends? Do you play by yourself? You know, it'd be really cool is if Ender's Play did the same thing like the Pokemon cards do and they have the codes for these do online. I like when you play an online game with these because it makes it so much simpler on how to learn and understand the rules of the game and I just like that aspect so. But these I just put them in a binder and I collect them. Because I have so many binders full of pony cards it is crazy but it is okay because I like them. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And look forward to me opening up more and more pony stuff in the future. I have a ton of pony stuff to open. I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to count right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I have like thirteen pony things to open. I'm just a slacker. I really am. But yeah, remember as always that I do love every single one of you. Bye everyone.